welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week, I'm gonna try something that used to be a childhood favorite of mine, but I'm kind of ashamed to admit my kids have never even tried it. So this week, we're gonna make Sloppy Joes. For today's recipe, guys, we're gonna need some salt, some soy sauce, some Worcester sauce, some olive oil, some pepper, an onion and a bell pepper, ketchup, tomato paste, Dijon mustard, we got the hot variety, but you don't have to get the hot. We need some garlic, some liquid smoke, we're obviously gonna need some ground beef, and of course, you're gonna have to put that on some sort of bun. And that's all we're gonna need for today's recipe, guys. First thing I'm gonna do today is take all of my ground beef and thaw it out, because clearly, this is frozen. First thing going in our pot today, guys, is gonna be our olive oil. We're gonna put about a tablespoon right down in the bottom of the pot. There we are. Now we're gonna drop down in here to our sear roast function and get that started. And then we're gonna take our mostly thawed, still partially frozen, ground beef and put it right down into the pot. Then I'm gonna try to break it up a little bit as it cooks. Could have probably thought it just a little bit longer, but that's okay. Not in a super big hurry. I'll just kind of work with it until I get it all thawed and fried. While that's browning, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. And about half a teaspoon of pepper. Now we need to get our onion diced. So we're just gonna cut off this side. Then we're gonna cut it this way. There we go. Perfect ends. Okay guys, now I've got my meat mostly browned. You can see there's still some pink in there, but I'm not really worried about that because I know that while it's under pressure, it's gonna finish cooking. So I went ahead and turned off my sear roast function. And now I'm just going to add my onion right in there. And then I'll mix that onion in. And now we're gonna dice our bell pepper. We're gonna take all of our bell pepper and add it to our pot. Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons or four cloves of garlic. There's one and two. Next, we are going to add one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce. And just a few drops of liquid smoke. Now we're gonna mix this together well. Make sure all those flavors are in there. Okay guys, this next part is really important that we follow the order and the amount that we're talking about. Now, I'm gonna start with a little bit of tomato paste. I'm gonna do just one tablespoon of tomato paste, but at the end after it cooks, if it's still not quite thick enough, I'm gonna thicken it with more tomato paste. We're gonna add one tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay, now we've got one tablespoon of tomato paste. It's very important, if I can manage, to get it right in the middle, kind of like that. On top of our tomato paste, we wanna add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Okay, same thing. Try to put it right on top of our tomato paste. Kind of like that. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add one cup of ketchup. And we're gonna add that ketchup right on top of our Dijon mustard and our tomato paste. It's really important, according to the recipe, that you do not mix at this point. You don't wanna mix that together. You wanna leave it just as is. But I've also just realized that I forgot to add my half a cup of water. So I'm just gonna add that around the outside. We also need half a cup of water. Okay, here goes my water right around the outside just so we have enough moisture in there so that our pot will seal. And now we're ready to seal up our pot. 
Okay guys, we're gonna drop down here into our chicken function because that's my high pressure. We're gonna bring the time cook down to five minutes. Because we don't need to cook anything, we're just trying to develop those flavors. That's honestly one of the things I like most about my pressure cooker is that it doesn't take all day to get that all day simmered flavor. Uh, so even though we've already cooked everything in our pot, because our ground beef was already pretty much cooked before we sealed it, uh, this pressure cooker is actually going to make this sauce seem as though it's simmered all day, which is amazing. I love that. Now we wait. Our time has expired and I've let this pressure come down naturally just because I got sidetracked, not because I needed to. Now it's time to open her up. Ooh. Now our little patch of sauce in here is in the same spot. So now we're gonna mix it in. I'm gonna turn this into sauce. Now you might notice it's a little watery. That's what I was talking about earlier with the extra tomato paste. So we're gonna add a little extra tomato paste to thicken it and I'm gonna turn that sear roast function on so we can thicken our sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel that sear roast function, turn that back on. And now I'm going to just add tomato paste about a tablespoon at a time until I get this sauce thickened where I'd like to have it. Okay guys, so I've added a total of about three more tablespoons of tomato paste. And I've sort of boiled off some of the excess water here by letting it evaporate. So I think my sauce is now ready to go. There we go guys, sloppy joes. Okay guys, I've got it made and it's plated. Now all we need are our guinea pigs. Do it. Guinea pigs! Hungry, hungry, hungry. There's a hungry pig and a flying pig and a pretty pig. Look, there's a pretty pig. Hey, there's the daddy pig. And here's the me. Hello, daddy pig. Hello. Um, Who thinks it smells amazing? Me. Who wants to eat first? Me. Ooh, Jordan said it first. All right, one, two, three, go. Oh, you get to go first? Mm -hmm. first. Watch out, it's gonna be sloppy It's everywhere. sloppy, be careful. Oh dear. <laughs> they weren't kidding, were they? Sloppy Joes. Should be called Sloppy Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, you gonna give that any thumbs today? Yeah? Yeah. And I say that for not liking Sloppy Joes at all. You've had Sloppy Joes before? Once before, yeah. Really? Where? I thought you'd never tried them before. Oh, um, I didn't know you'd ever tried them. Canned junk. So, was this better than the canned junk? Oh, yeah. Would you be happy if I made this again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's not my favorite thing that you made, but it's definitely not my most favorite. All right, cool. Thanks, Jordan. Look at this face. I think this face has to go next. <laughs> All right, let's see what you, hey, those are hot dogs. That's cheating. <laughs> Something tells me I must know my child. You still have to taste the sloppy joe though, okay? Well, it's not spicy. It's not spicy, sweet pie. Is it ghost nano? No, it's not spicy, it's sweet. Mm. <laughs> Do you like it? You can tell me you don't like it if you don't like it. Do you want me to get you some more? Do you like it? You like it and you don't like it? Um, when, I, when I'm not chewing, it's like, like soft. I don't like that feeling. Oh, because it's kind of smushy? And what about, what do you like? The hot dog? <laughs> All right, thanks, baby. All right, it's between the dad and the Mia. And the dad and the Mia. Looks like Mia needs to go next. <laughs> All right, dad. <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Though. So have you had Sloppy Joes before, dad? Uh, yeah, a couple of times. Okay, so you know what to expect from a Sloppy Joe. Right. It's gonna be sloppy. <laughs> Mmm. It's a sloppy joe with flavor. It's sweet. It's like it's like barbecuey. Like mm. barbecue sauce. Interesting. But it's not barbecue sauce. So here's it. the thing. The recipe that I was reading that I adapted from was if you like a little bit of spice to add a kick of cayenne pepper to it. Mm. But since I was feeding littles, I did not. 
do you think it could use that kick of, of, yeah. of spicy? Bite. So uh, you're gonna give that any thumbs today or are your thumbs too messy today? Oh, I get two pinkies. Pinkies up, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Cool. Okay, Mia, looks like you're up. You excited to try this? I don't know how, how I'm gonna eat this because I have to eat with these teeth. Really it's okay, it's soft. Right It'll be easy to eat. You don't have to bite through it. It's just the bread. Yeah, it is soft. It's okay. super soft. Be careful though, it's sloppy. It's funny that you turned it upside down to eat it. It's funny. Yeah, I'm weird. You're kind of weird. So what do you think? No, it's not spicy. Good, because I didn't add any spice. What do you think of the flavor? Do you like it? The meat kind of tastes like meatballs. I, I like it. Okay, how many thumbs do you want to give that? All right, I'll take it. At least that's not two thumbs down. Okay guys, my final thoughts. I think this recipe for Sloppy Joe's is really good. Um, I don't think there's anything that I would change about it. This flavor reminds me of the Sloppy Joe's I had as a kid, which is a good thing because like I said at the beginning, this was a childhood favorite of mine. So this one hit home for me and I really liked it. Who thought Sloppy Joe's were yummy? Me. 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 Baby, you liked it? Yeah, next time I'll have to give you a whole schmammage with it. <laughs> I don't think he liked it. Look at that reaction. Okay, fine. I won't give you one. But maybe Malia and Jackson could have something else. And Mommy, Daddy, and Jordan could have Sloppy Joe's. Because I thought that was pretty tasty. Dad, would you want to eat that again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we'll definitely have that again. Probably in the summertime. Because it seems like a good summertime food. Um, Yeah, I, I really liked it. I think I'll just do it just like that again. But for now, I guess it's probably just time to send you kiddos to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make this channel strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. Make sure you haven't subscribed. Please subscribe now. Subscribe. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Poof. Love you, Jones, are sloppy. <laughs>